In this question, we're being asked to differentiate the function f of x and later on integrate it. Now, the first thing to do is write it in index form. So 3x is fine. This a 5 over x cubed becomes 5x to the minus 3. Remember your negative powers. Now it's ready to differentiate because we know that d by dx of x to the n is equal to n x to the n minus 1. That's a key rule to uh, learn. And also hopefully you've sort of seen where this has come from or you, and you've differentiated x squared from first principles, for example. Here we're not doing that, so we're just, you know, we're going to use this rule f dash x. Well, the 3x actually goes to 3. It's a special case. It does still follow this rule, but it's best to remember that if you have a something, a constant times an x, it just becomes the constant. It is, in fact, a gradient of this function. Actually, not that function. This function here, y equals 3x. It just has a constant gradient of 3. Here, I'm then um, I'm going to do minus 5 times minus 3x to the minus 4. I bring that minus 3 down. I times it by the minus 5. And that's going to give me 3 plus 15x to the minus 4. I could write this as 3 plus 15 over x to the 4, but I actually think it's absolutely fine to leave it in index form. We're then being asked for f double dash, and that essentially means we need to differentiate f dash x. The constant, it will, it's actually, it looks like this and has a gradient of 0, so you just get rid of that one. And then here we bring down the minus 4, so it becomes minus 60 x to the minus 5. And that's our answer. Finally, we're being asked to integrate the function. So it's going to be the integral of, I'm going to put this in a bracket, 3x minus 5x to the minus 3 with respect to x. And what we do here is the opposite to differentiating. So if we integrate x to the n, then actually you add 1 to the power and you divide by the new power, which I can write like this, or I can put the whole thing over n plus 1. I'm not quite done. Let me just talk about this a bit more, though. So if I differentiated this back, you'd see I would times by n plus 1, which would cancel that out, and I'd reduce the power, so I'd get back to x to the n. I just have to remember that I also have to add on a plus c. That's really important. So here I'm going to add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. It's going to be 3x squared. I'll put it all over 2. I can write it as 3 over 2. It's fine. I might do that in a minute. And then here um, I'm just going to deal with the x and minus 3 separately. So it's going, I'm going to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So this, when I add 1 to the power, it actually becomes less negative. And remember, I'm timesing here, and I've got a plus c. I just need to then maybe tidy this up. So 3 over 2x squared, that looks a bit better. Um, and this is going to become plus 5 over 2x to the minus 2 plus c. And I'm going to leave it like that.